Good morning, YouTube. We got us a roll over here. It is not what they said it was. Came in as a tractor trailer, but this is a loaded box truck. A big one at that. It happens all the time. Looks like uh, the load is minimal. But it is a very weak wall. So Alex is going to be using straps. I'm going to let him take point on this one. This thing's all jacked up, man. Papitas. Driver's okay. Hey, I like this. You flip it right here. I'll control it with the spike just to get the front down right. And then once it's um, upright, I'll use my boom to flip it and tow it. The fastest way. So we're right in the heart of LA almost. This is uh, Wilshire Boulevard. There's Highland Avenue. This is the uh, nicer part of LA. So let's see what Alex, uh, minimal spill. I bet you Alex is gonna use his recovery straps. The door open right here. Not that big of a tear. What I can start doing already too is I'm gonna I'm gonna back up to it and I'm gonna pull from the front axle. That way Alex only focuses on the box and the chassis stays together the whole upright. So with these box trucks I've shown before in previous videos, is the box is on a chassis, right? Imagine the box was in there, just be the tractor portion on a chassis. If you control only the front of the or only the box without paying attention to the chassis as this comes over you can tear the box off the chassis i'll show you how look how rusted all this is this wood right here and then right there very easy to tear off oh we'll just grab my remote And my portion is going to be very easy. I'll just use a deck winch as a spike. And then probably throw my boom on uh, the rim as a catch. We got a nice audience today. So the spike is easy. The spike is just when you put like a low, it's pretty much a low pull. I'll put my snatch block there and attach to there. That'll keep the bottom of the truck planted while it comes over. I use a basic uh, Omega link chain. See, Alex already has lift. This guy's fast, man. So these pre picks are awesome because it allows you to gauge the strength. The rear's empty, so that's why it's going up so easy. It's holding well? Huh? It's holding well? A little bit. There's a lot of weight on that front corner. It's all on the front, huh?
These Omega links are so cool because it, they close themselves. So it's impossible like on a grab hook for it to slip out. And these are grade 10, half inch recovery. Let's see, we gotta go the distance of here. So right here is good. Quick easy. I'm only gonna put the rear outriggers out since I'm gonna use the boom as a catch. See, look at these people. They drive right past the enclosure back there. So it's got the hooks right here. But as it comes over, at the angle and the pressure, there's a possibility I will crush that. I'll go in between here and risk it. I like how the driver's recording this entire time. Sometimes you get guys like that with the attitude and they're like, oh, don't scratch anything. Like, bro, you, you flipped this, you did this. I guess it's damage control. You know, they tell their boss it was an accident. Someone cut them off and now they're vigilant. Damn, my man has two cameras. I like that, bro. We'll use my Bailey's sleeves. Just right here, a little buffer. See, right here, a little buffer will be perfect. We'll use two just in case. These things are freaking awesome, man. Alex, yeah. do you need me to lift the front? A bit. Okay. Let me try to help you out, bro.
More? More? Going higher. Now I'm airborne. There we go. Where's your angle irons? On the opposite side of your arm. One. Feed it through and I'll pull it. It's already coming. Where it cracked in that corner? Huh? Where it cracked right there in that corner, it's also right there. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Well, if I get it through there, I can slide it because there's a door in the way. No, of course. Slide it through, I'll grab it. I see it. Yes. Ta-da! All right, while Alex sets up uh, his lift lines, we're already done. He just has to attach them and over she goes. These sleeves, this is what they're perfect for. So right here where I'm touching, that stuff can cut the end of the strap. Well, these are like casts that protect your arms when you break bones and stuff, but for slings. And also in case it comes in contact with the edge of the bumper here, and I mean, it won't really protect that because there's nothing to damage. It's not like there's a chain touching it, but it would be used for that too. All right, now while Alex is about to hook up the front of his stuff, and before I do my catch, let's take off the drive shaft. You already know why. Good. You always got to make sure there's play. This will kill you if there's no, if there's a only tension and there's no play a lot of horror stories about that and what's cool about this milwaukee one is if you'll notice it breaks it first instead of continuously going to prevent stripping so i just hold it nice right it's the little things in life, man. Now that's easy to do on these because they're they're just three eighths. You can probably get a strong man to do it by hand. It's the half inch ones, the Volvos and all those that you usually need a breaker bar first. Now sometimes these things can't come out by hand, but you need a little. Uh, they don't even need that. Now I'm gonna use mechanics wire in this one instead of a strap. 
again because this is a baby drive shaft it's a little three eighths it's the super heavy big boys on the on the big tractors you got to worry about using this <clears throat> nice and tucked away now if you guys are not familiar these are real real rear wheel drive when the rear wheel spin it spins this which spins this which powers the front and you need the truck on for the oil to lubricate well when the truck's off this is how you risk seizing the transmission or the drive shaft or the transfer case it happens all the time with rookie towers, man. So what you do is you remove the drive shaft. That's why we do that when you tow something from the front. If we were rear towing it, it wouldn't be necessary, but we're front towing it. <clears throat> all right, I got a quick change of plan. I'm gonna catch using this instead. It's a steel rim. And my line of action is going to be on this side so it won't touch the tire and I feel more comfortable than trying to time it perfect so my strap doesn't press up against the bumper um, or the hood. Over you go. Excellent. Much better this way. I love this. Okay. Now that my catch is done, Alex is done, it's lift off. <clears throat> now I just follow Alex's lead. Make sure the cap comes over flush with the body. That's the step that was broken. Straps worked amazing. <clears throat> and that's the part I told you was ripped in the beginning. No further tears. That's usually, especially with reefers, trailers in general, they always tear up at the front because you got to figure in a big rollover collision, 
the impact, everything goes forward. You're in motion and then you're not in motion. So boom, the load goes and it either comes out from the top there or either side. The trick is to make sure that's the only damage and it doesn't rip out further. Um, I could tow it like that. Maybe just jump in there and throw some boxes to the other side, level it out. Well, that's not bad. Let me start hooking up now. Mm -mm. Look, I think it was a great choice to go to the rim too, as opposed to here. Because otherwise I'd have to time it perfect. So it isn't push up against here or this. And these big steel rims are golden. No, tiene que, se, se tiene que pagar ahorita. Yeah. Si, no, pues, si no lo puedes pagar, pues nomás le digo al oficial que me dé la impound sheet sí. y me lo llevo a la, a la yarda y luego le dices a tu seguranza que está ahí y ellos pagan eso. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I can straighten it out while Alex puts all his stuff away. With the boss? Yeah, you want to talk to him? No. <laughs> hey, bro, there's no other cars involved? You know, it, 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 a car was getting ready to turn, and then he saw it last minute and swerved and lost it. Because I noticed there's only damage to the truck and there's no car yeah, parts. Yeah, the other car never hit him. He just swerved and lost control. I think he was going too fast. Oh, of course. Yeah. You, you can't flip these going slow. I'll just wait till he gets out of the okay. cab. I'm gonna straighten it out. I'm gonna... Go swipe it. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell the phone real quick. Walk your dog, Josh, nice and easy. Oh, let's get my stuff out of the way.
That's good enough for me. <laughs> How cool is that? And then, just for convenience, we rotate back this way. Lift up again, but just a direct lift. And straighten out the tires. Right there. Well, you put your truck away, I'm gonna tow it. Well, I'm excited to show you guys this with the sleeves. Check this out. First of all, you use strap instead of chain on stuff like this. But there is zero damage to the strap. This sleeve protects it. And this is the part I was talking about. This edge would have come in contact and that can rub and scratch and damage this. All you got is a little bit of blue. All you gotta do is worry about little edges like that, but. Legos. You don't see Hook. You don't see Hulk towing often. I like these internationals because they sit high. Makes it very easy to adjust. <sighs> Rise. Easy. I'll just get my chains and everything and we're good to go. And once I do this, guys, we're out of here. Just got to secure the front of the truck by the axle to my underlift using my 3 8 grade 10 chain and a binder. Alex is about done being put away. And off to the shop we go. So, of course, homeboy does not have any air in the truck, so Hulk, despite really towing, has a cool compressor on the back of the truck for a quick release like this, instead of manually pulling out the cable and plugging it into your service line. <sighs> if you don't know, this is what releases these brakes. They're springs and air compresses and decompresses them. Let's just do a quick test before I tighten it up. First, I like to run it through here and then through here. Perfect, guys. Uh, excellent. We have air. We're out of here. Oh, and then to do a test. I'll move it out of the way so you could throw the sand, yeah? When I do that, can you do me a favor and grab the straps and the four bolts? 
I'm gonna go forward. Just pull forward really quick. So Alex can throw that sand. Help him sweep up. We outro, ladies and gentlemen. The final piece, my wireless light bar. Oh, I forgot this was open. That'll be fine. Ah. Well, you can see the issue there. It's completely bent. There's a wheel right there. Pull it down. There we go. Let me uh, jump out. What I'll do is I just need to clear this part that's broken. I'll go inside and push it up so it'll slam down. And then just crawl out. Yeah. So let me uh watch out. Uh. Okay. Push it. Pull it. Oh. Yeah, it won't work because it's completely off right there. And these two wheels are gone. Should I just lower it? Almost flat toe it? I'll go behind you. Yeah. We're going local anyways. We'll take the streets. Look, this fine gentleman was offering me a jar of mayonnaise for my services. Uh, hey, you got clam shells. <laughs> we'll make some tostadas. <laughs> All that's trash now. All of it's trash. Imagine they try to reuse it. I'm sure they Guarantee will. they will. <laughs> Let me go to a restaurant and... This tastes around. funny. Right. <laughs> So no go on this. I'll just wanna bring a battery. <laughs> Please. You see, I told you it's junk, right? Hey, how fast did we get here from when you guys called? Maybe like 40 minutes, 35 minutes. That was pretty fast. I, I thought it was gonna be like an hour. She said 45 minutes. I'm like, ah, it's gonna be an hour. I'm oh no, man. Big truck. Oh. <laughs> you guys got it pretty fast. Yeah, that's good, bro. Cool. We'll just take Highland to the streets, to Olympic, and then you follow me. Cool. Right? All right, man. Take care. Appreciate yeah, yeah, your yeah, help, no man. Worry, no worry. Take care, you got the straps, Alex? Yeah, the straps. All right. Peace, everyone. <laughs>